Jeez, can't type tonight. All right, you guys all know the routine. We'll start in just a minute. I'll just make some noise here in the background. Starting to roll in. Finish re replacing the ran out of labels in the label maker here. Oh, that went crooked. No oh, good. Let's try that again. Whoever you are watching, make sure you post your username so I know who I'm talking to. Find out in a minute. All right, well, I'm not going to wait any longer. All right, guys, how's it going tonight? We got ourselves a case of DC Bombshell Series 2. Break the sponsor by Block Cards. Haven't, uh, haven't opened up Bombshells in a little while now. Series 2, I think, is my favorite. I'm not much of a female collector when it comes to sketches and whatnot. But it's definitely nice quality stuff. Little figures are a bit of a pain in the butt to mail out to you guys, but it is what it is, right? So this was a pretty cheap case, so this is one of the no base, this is just the hits. So there's sketches and the little figures, um, the parallel cards, and then the base just will sit under my desk for a while. Okay. Things are pretty even up on these when it comes to the figures. Uh, I got the checklist here. I believe that it was. Come on. There we go. So there are five figures. So we'll get two of each plus two doubles. Uh, we'll get a bronze. And if we're lucky, we'll get one of the painted ones. We did pull a painted one in one of the previous cases of this that we opened. So hopefully we'll have the same kind of luck. The one thing I do hope is that some of the artists went a little abstract. I actually liked it better when it's just a pretty traditional type of painting on the uh, figure. Come on, there are watchers. Okay, we start with Superman. This is a regular figure. You guys remember what they all looked like? Oh, a 
apologize if you can hear that. My wife is watching a movie upstairs, so make sure these are all red. There's a gold. I don't remember. Was it the golds and the uh, hollows? I forget what they call that hollow. They call them deco foil, I think. Uh, let me just jump back up to the base. Gold deco and then rainbow foil. So the rainbow foils are usually the easier insert. Jason, how are you tonight? But for some reason in this one, they actually flipped it around. And the hollow foil, or rainbow foil, excuse me, is actually the harder one. Oh, and there's the rainbow foil. They're uh, they're part of the break. I probably I copied over one of the old breaks and I just took the base spots out of it. So uh, I think, if I remember correctly, that star powers weren't on the original checklist for series two, so I did not have them. Uh, they'll just be additional hits, so they'll just be some, some more snake spots. So, even more added value to those lower spots. There's a gold. Oh, that way. Uh... Let's see what we pull. I think when we did the last two breaks, I'd have to check. I want to say that the star powers were like red, silver, gold, however their parallels are. I know reds are the base, or at least the, the standard ones. Uh, let's see. What are these things? Star powers. Right, so red. There should be two reds. One silver, and then maybe gold, maybe black. So, let's see which ones we pull. If they're not anybody special character-wise, maybe we'll just keep them all together. If we get some good characters individually, maybe we'll break them apart. Good thing about kind of having it open-ended. This is one of the uh, the ID cards. How you doing tonight, Russell? So you'll get a set, and whoever picks that, you'll get a set of those. I've never had, uh, in the other two cases, we definitely didn't have any issues with the collation. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of sticking here. Nothing bad, but oh, there's a gold. There's a foil. So what's everybody been up to lately? Anything good? Who's working, who's not working, who's quarantined or sheltered in place or any of that good stuff. I guess it's really not good stuff. I'm trying to think if, if it was when Series 3 was out. When I was at the Philly show, home office... They had one or two painted figures there, and I don't know if that was for an upcoming release or if it was before Season 3 was out. I can't remember now. 
It was a really nice looking one. Got our sketch. Uh, Kleber Lima. Well, that stinks, Jason. I know my, my wife has been furloughed since uh, for two months now. But just like you were, I, I still go to my office, but every Sunday is my, uh, my grocery. We do Walmart and the grocery, excuse me, in the grocery store. They're right across the street from each other, so makes it easy, but that's about it. There's a gold. Yeah, I, I just started a few minutes ago. Yeah, this might go a little bit slower just because the we've got some sticking. There's our one of our foils. So that should be it for the foils. Because they're one in eight packs. Uh, it was Superman. And the coalition's been pretty good, you know, that I actually written house and cryptozoic. I guess I should say it the other way around. Cryptozoic and written house. Their collation is usually spot on. Uh, tops and upper deck, eh, not so much. And as soon as I finish with these packs, I will. Uh, oops, I'll show you the figure again. So that's what I was saying. So there's five figures, and uh, we should end up with there'll be two sets: the one bronze, and then one extra. Hopefully, one of the figures will be painted. I just want to make sure I didn't miss a goal. I don't think I did. They're pretty easy to spot since the uh, base cards are all red foil. Should I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Kleber Lima. And this is where I get Batwoman and Batgirl when it comes to bombshells. I believe that's Batwoman, right? I like it when there's a good amount of background to the sketches. Yeah, it gives them some some depth. And there is our first figure, the Superman. Oh god, let's go this one. <clears throat> Which one is the fire woman? I forget the different. Uh, I guess that's Starfire. Oh yeah, I guess with the uh, like that deep V neck, it's kind of like her costume.
Hey, for those of you that are on Facebook, besides the fact that you should all be joining our Facebook group, somebody posted um, today or yesterday that they have a small DC Facebook group. I have no idea who the person is. I just thinking about it since we're opening DC cards right now. Maybe I can find the guy who got my Solomon Grundy Eric Mail sketch the other week off of eBay from me. Here's a rainbow foil of the checklist. I know George had posted in our Facebook group about he found um, 2019 Twin Peaks a lot cheaper than what they're currently for sale for on Blowout. So I did not get a chance to respond yet. If you are interested in doing a break of that, Sounded like we could do a 24 spot break with about, I guess you'd end up with about 10 sneak picks, no base cards, and you would, uh, and it would still be pretty cheap. Yeah, Arkham Ward for our ID card. So are there any sketches in particular you all are looking for out of here? Rainbow. I still think that the um, Amy Clark, that platinum sketch that we pulled, is still my favorite sketch out of Bombshells that I've seen. And there was just something about it I really liked. I don't know which one of you has it. I didn't know that they were in this. Where's that sketch list? Uh, yep, yep, there they are. All right, we still have a few packs to go. Let's, uh, hope if you can't read, actually, I'll do that if you didn't already see it. All right, let's take our bets. What is the sketch of and who is the artist? And if you already saw, don't make any guesses. Of course, I don't think Mike is on here. He was usually the big uh, spoiler. Not Glebe. Also, Robo, don't forget, so you have 12 sketches, 12 figures. So if you're a pick 11, 
figure the person, you know, somebody in the first 10 above you will probably take the, uh, the bronze figure. And then somebody might be collecting the foils or the golds. So I could see that possibly going. Okay, well, I will tell you it's not Glebe, but I will say that it's going to take a little bit of work to get a sketch that is going to uh, top this one. Not saying it won't happen, but I'm saying it'll take a few boxes. You know, again, I'm like you, Jason. I wouldn't collect these figures either. But if we got a painted one and it was a cool one, I would. When we did, I guess it was Series 3. Um, I'll have to check because we got... Who are the figures in this? Harley, Raven, Starfire, Superman, and the Joker. Yeah, because we got a painted... It must have been Series 3 then because they didn't do them in Series 1. Because it was Killer Frost, if I remember correctly. Okay, here we go. We start with that because sometimes people might not know who that is. So we have a good artist. And let that focus a little better. Did that focus yet? I can't tell. There it goes. There we go. That is uh, Mitch Ballard. If you guys don't recognize that signature. It's a very popular artist. Oh, I bet you I can still get part of another box in there. But if we're lucky enough to get a painted figure, Jason, and I mean, there's no way you'd be available at whatever you said you were at 15. There's the Joker. Yeah, that was the thing. It was a shame. The one that we got, it was very... Oh, there's our sketch right away. Ah, that kind of stinks. It's another Cleaver Lima. I think the problem was is that when they were doing them, I, I know somebody, one or two of the artists had posted somewhere about that. That, you know, they didn't want to just paint it and be, here I am, I just painted it and, you know, looks just like an action figure you'd buy, you know, in a store. So they, you know, decided to try going crazy. And, yes, it might not look very appealing because it might be abstract. Not these figures, but I mean, I have a couple of little little figures. Uh, there's my number one fan, Sebastian.
Uh, sometimes I put them out, sometimes I don't, Russell. There you go, just for you. Here, real quick, I'll show you. Excuse the mess, but just you need little figures. I don't, I don't collect those little DC ones because I'm not, you know, in the female characters. But I've been trying to finally finish off these little, these One Punch Man blind figures, the blind bags. My daughter and I were buying them. They're so cheap on eBay. I was getting them. I have so many. Man, if anybody likes One Punch Man, and I think I've got a half a dozen extra Saitamas. If you want one, let me know. I could probably, I should be able to throw it in. If you're getting something, I might even be able to put them in an envelope. If you're only getting like one card, shouldn't cause any problems. But I still need two figures. I just feel like it's a waste to keep buying, you know, a half a dozen of these little bags. I have to move these figures out of the way. I'm going to start locking into them. But I have, because I even have my detachable head Herschel that I used to use originally, but he was too small and he kept falling over. At least this guy's a lot bigger. I only actually own two Funkos, but I'm thinking about maybe picking up a couple more anime ones. That one, and I, I always liked the, the Hulkbuster one, but that one was pretty big size-wise. I don't know if I uh, want to give up that much in my area here just for a Funko. They had a Goose Funko. I haven't been to a a mall or a GameStop or whatever that might sell these things in a couple of months now, so ID card, That's Harley Quinn Circus. I guess you have to get the ones with tentacles. Yeah, I remember a couple, I guess like two years ago, three years ago, Walmart had these Star Wars uh, two packs, and they were like scenes. And they had all of these. It was R2 and C3PO on Tatooine. But then there was one, it was Luke and Vader from Empire Strikes Back. And I could never find that one anywhere, it was just on the back of the box. But that one looked really cool. I kind of like that. I bought them for my son. He's got a. He's probably got about twenty Star Wars ones. 
where there's, you know, two and three packs. Okay, Cleaver Lima again. All right, no offense to Cleaver Lima, but I don't want to see you again. Your sketches are fine. This looks like Har yep. There's Harley. I don't know if I'm behind or not, but I just saw that there is a Harley Quinn cartoon. It's Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are the two main characters, and it is extremely R-rated. It was on uh, was it on the Comedy Channel or the cartoon? I think it might have been on Adult Swim. Boy, F-bombs left and right. I mean, it was kind of fun to watch, but kind of... A little too crazy over the top. I think they might be forcing forcing the language a bit. I saw two episodes, I think, so far. Like I said, I don't know if I'm late to the game. But Interesting watch if you happen to catch it. Okay, sci fi channel. Is that what it was? I could kind of see that. ID card for Batgirls. You know, I was a little disappointed on May the 4th. So on Disney Plus, you know, they had put Rise of Skywalker on. And I was re-watching Rogue One. I didn't get, I didn't get a chance to re-watch Rise yet. But they did not put Solo up. They've got every other movie except for it. I never actually saw Solo. Sketch. I'm also still waiting. I think July, June or July, they're supposed to put Ant Man and Wasp up. You know, and speaking of Rogue One, in that Harley Quinn cartoon, Alan Tudyk is the voice of uh, the Joker. They couldn't get Mark Hamill. Well, 
Uh, I have no opinion, Robo, since I haven't seen it. I know the reviews weren't the greatest. I really like Rogue One. Not saying it's my favorite. I still have that nostalgic feel from Empire Strikes Back. I, I really like Rogue One. I like that a lot. You know, not Marvel or Disney, but did anybody see Bloodshot? That was one of my favorite comic books of all time. And the previews for the movie look, didn't look good at all. <laughs> so I was kind of... I don't know if I still if I can still rent it on demand. I've been contemplating. All right, we got Julia Pinto, Killer Frost. I'm going to keep them up there all break for you, Russell. Ah, uh, you like the Killer Frost? Oh, uh, goody, goody. Let's see. Is this... I have to open up the box here. So we got ourselves a painted figure. Now, here's the thing that's throwing me off. Who is this? So it's Harley, Raven, Starfire. I guess this is Raven? But it's got a gun. Someone help me out here. But what we were just talking about, it's actually painted like a figure. It is not just, you know. But sweet. So now here's the thing. Let's get this back on. We never... Oh, you know why? I know why. Because the paintings are not. So the paintings are golden goddesses, not little bombshells. I mean, I know they're the same thing, but the golden goddess is not one of the ones from the here. The, you know, one of the figures. So that is Harley with the gun. Okay, so that's what was throwing me off. And. little certificate here so there is a code on it so I guess we can look that up to see who it is there's no name on it but there is uh, how many people are in here one two three four five six seven ten eleven Putting this all back in the box. But I'm sure with that code, there's a matching sticker on the bottom of the figure. You could send that code. I can send that code off to 
Dustin, and I'm sure he can tell us who that artist was. But most importantly, a painted figure that's one in 60 boxes, and it's in more authentic painting. Oh, and there's our sketch right off the bat. I know we're, it's funny we're talking about Star Wars while we're opening up a DC product. We should at least be talking about Marvel. Does anybody have the DC uh, app? The streaming service. We need uh, George to get here. He says he's got like every single way to watch TV or a movie there is. Well, there's two different because there's a there's the CW app where you can for free and you can stream all of like the Arrowverse shows, but then there's the DC universe app or excuse me service and that's where there's uh that you have to pay for and there's original content on there there's um that live action titans and then all the old cartoons see i would love to get it just to be able to watch young justice again and uh what's that called what was it it was Justice League. Was it Justice League Unlimited? I don't know. There was a. They were serious, not not jokes. Even the that Go Teen Titans goofy cartoon that used to be relatively serious. And then they rebooted it as the a goofball show. But yeah, me and my son, we used to watch Young Justice every week. And then the other, this other Justice League show, I can't remember the exact title. Oh, here's real quick, just showing that card, Star Girl. Anybody gonna watch that show? I think that starts this week. I'm not sure if I added it to my DVR or not. It was a cartoon. It wasn't live action. And it, and it kept expanding where it was like the entire Justice League universe was in it. I mean, there was... I felt like there was like hundreds of members of the Justice League. So they had tons of content that they could, you know, jump between. You know, it would be just a plain, you know, Superman, Batman. You know, it's funny is, except for the crossovers, I never watched arrow and i don't know i have no desire like batwoman just does not or batgirl whatever that one is it just doesn't look good to me 
Supergirl, I never cared. I watch Flash, I watch Legends, and I actually like Black Lightning. And if you don't watch it, Suicide Squad, there's Amanda Waller. But even if you didn't want, I mean, for Black Lightning, the last couple episodes of the last season were really good. The one thing that was, I like I said, I, I don't watch Supergirl, don't watch Batwoman, don't watch uh, Arrow. But in the crossover, the crisis that just ended, Lex Luthor, John Cryer's Lex Luthor, I th he was fantastic. Okay, our sketch, Angelo de Capua, and looks like Batman. I'm going to check something in the checklist here. All right, so we should we should get a printing plate too. I was just checking to make sure. Usually do. Now the guy who plays Superman in Supergirl, ugh, I I didn't care for him. It was fun to see Smallville Superman. Tom Welling. This is a uh, Raven. I'm going to have to start opening top to bottom. Sketch it again in the first pack. So the, the Brandon version where he's all dark and gritty because it, he lost everybody from Crisis. I mean, I guess he has the ability to since he's, I don't know if he's permanently off or on hiatus since he got married. Oh, boy, you know, I just completely forgot. We finally got our first star power.
Batwoman. Halfway through, and we just got one. At minimum, there should be two more. I tell you, the rainbow foil cards on this are really nice looking cards. On the Game of Thrones Season 8, Jason, I don't know. I had mentioned that the price has come down just a little. Uh, the, the last I checked, I think it's is it 850 instead of 900 now. The last archive box, it took a little bit to fill. And I mean, when I say a little bit, you know, the first two archive boxes filled with a day. That one, I think, maybe took three days. So it wasn't anything crazy. I've been I've been thinking about. I wonder if we were to do a, a combo. Okay, Adam and Becca Cleveland, Killer Croc. But I do have a list. It was actually I was looking at the pre-sales because I have been falling behind a little bit. Um, Outlander season four, if it isn't delayed is supposed to come out on the 27th of this month. Yeah, with the combo, it's just a matter of, you know, how many spots and how much per spot before it, you know, people are going to not want to join in all right we got our bronze and it is the joker that's probably second best i would think i mean harley obviously is number one on everybody's list and then because it was uh joker superman yeah because like raven starfire I would think Joker would be ahead of Superman, right? In 
in terms of desirability? But I'm going to be submitting the Outlander Season 4, Rise of Skywalker Season 2, which that got pushed to June 12th. And then the one thing that I'm wondering is they pushed it to June 12th, and they still have not changed the date on Chrome Perspectives, and that's still listed as June 17th. And I just, I mean, I can't imagine that they're going to have two Star Wars sets out in back-to-back -back weeks. The Star Wars Stellar break that is currently filling, it looks like it's about three quarters of the way full. I'm going to hopefully update that tonight or tomorrow. I was kind of surprised. Um, the Star Trek inscriptions, I was a little disappointed on. So I put in, I did a Star Trek Discovery and a Star Trek Inflections, and neither of them seemed to be grabbing a whole lot. You better believe we've had good things so far. We got a nice sketch of Harley from Mitch Ballard. We got a uh, Julia Pinto Killer Frost sketch, which was nice. A painted Harley Quinn figure. There's our ID card. We'll have to. I'll have to send the the code on the sticker to Cryptozoic to find out who it is. I don't believe they have a code lookup. Unless they just have a general thing, you know, where numbers 1 to 10 or so and so. There's our sketch.
star power number two. And we are Superman. Bill Fick for a second there. Matthew Sutton. Not sure on that character. Uh, is that the... Is that supposed to be the one... The female Kryptonian? Just think with the... What looks like some sort of a space suit. Here, figure is another Harley. Okay, so that is two Harley and one of everybody else. I'm not counting the painted and the bronze. So these other four boxes, and since we got the painted, the other four should be two, you know, one Superman, one Joker. One Raven and one Starfire. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to flip these and go top bottoms. This is a cool sketch though. I didn't I didn't take a really super close look at it, but there's a, a lot of silver on it. There's our ID card. I have no clue who this character is. I'm going to need some help. We still haven't gotten our printing plate yet either. So we'll have one star power left, hopefully more. One printing plate. Now, I'm not as familiar with the bombshells, you know, in general, but I would have to say that the uh, the Zoot Suit Sinestro is, is probably one of my favorite characters out of this.
I keep forgetting to go and look and see the video or whatever the release was regarding Triple is going to have a Crisis on Infinite Earths set. As long as it's not a CZX set, I'll, I'm okay with it. I just don't want them to automatically make every set a CZX set. All right, Deborah Caloris. Can somebody help me out with the character here? So, a winged female, but that doesn't look like any Hawk Girl. And the bombshell's Hawk Girl. She's got like a jetpack on. So, I don't know. And there's a lot of silver. Some of it's picking up on here outlines and accents on everything so not sure who that is unless they're not wings i mean they look like wings Raven. Let's see if one Raven goes here. Four boxes to go if anybody's keeping count. This feels a little Richard. Maybe this has got star power or a printing plate. Nope, just a foil.
I remember when the first printing plates pack pulled once, at least that I can remember, were 95 or 96 Pinnacle. It wasn't regular Pinnacle, it was like Pinnacle Now or Pinnacle something. And when you pulled one of those things, first off, they were so sharp. No, not yet. I was just saying, one the one pack I was opening, it felt rigid. There's our sketch. Huh. Another duplicate on an artist. I'm not complaining about this sketch, though, at all. Nice sketch. Well, we have three and a half boxes, roughly. To get our plate. I don't know some plates are cool. I do like the fact, like Rittenhouse, where they put the full set of plates in the archive box. Now that's neat that you get all four of them. I mean, it is a, a you know, a real hunt to get those plates. The problem, I think, is that the value that people put on them is insane, to say the least. There's a plate I've got in my watch list saved from uh, Super Villains. And the guy wants $200 for the plate, which I think is just ridiculous. Alright, so now there's three boxes left. One of them has to have a star power in it. One of them, oh, never mind, star power. <laughs> it's one thing about these being so hard to tell the difference. So that first Batwoman was a silver. Oh, yeah, because it's got the foil coming down where the red was. So then this Batwoman is a red. So now we have to hope for a gold or a black. I would say at this point, since if I didn't have that in my checklist or breakdown, they should probably all just go together. Julia Pinto. Check out that Wonder Woman. Starfire. So that means you've got Superman and Joker left.
so with the pandemic going on right now, have you all seen about the break in the supply chain for plastics? So the all of our supplies are on back order. I know me personally, I'm in trouble. I didn't realize it, but I am. I was just about out of uh, team bags from doing the stellar breaks. I put all them in team bags. As well as, you know, I mail out all my cards. So that's all I have left. I placed an order last week and it said that I can't remember what it was that I was that was the one I, that might have been the team bag. Something was back ordered till it said May 8th. You know, keeping my fingers crossed that that that's all it is. That and I just about out of uh, the 200 and 300 count boxes. See, and the worst thing is because in my state, everything's still shut down. I just had to check my order. Like I said, if the date if the date stayed, I'm good. That was DCW I ordered from. I didn't I didn't check to see if Ultra Pro was in the same boat. Or even just the blowout or David Adams or eBay. I'm sure they're whoever still has them is probably up the price of what they're charging. Our sketch that I have here from this box was by uh, Bill Mouse. Nice airbrushing on the edges there. Flash. Now, it's not, at least on my end, the way I see it on my screen, that is actually very orange. It, to me, on my screen, it looks more yellowy brown. But it is definitely orange. Very nice sketch there. I'm going to say that this is an above average case. Oh, look at that. I was wrong. 
another Harley. So that means we are only going to get this last, that last box has to either have, I'm actually going to check it now because I'm curious. It's got to have Joker or Superman in it. Now this box is a little crushed. That's not good. So it is lower. That's on the that's on the figure side. Yeah, the box itself got a little crushed. The figure obviously is okay inside, and it is a Joker. So we didn't get two Supermans. Still looking for a printing plate and still keeping my fingers crossed that we get a better a uh, a gold or black star power. You know, what? I'm gonna grab from both. Let's try, let's grab a couple out of the middle. Where is that printing plate at? Mm. I don't know, this one, this one probably is just a foil. Just feels a tiny, yeah, that's a rainbow foil. Boy, if we end up being, if we end up missing a hit, I wonder if Cryptozoic is uh, working at all. Or if they're going to do the same thing like Upper Deck did with Avengers Endgame to us. Maybe this one. Nope. A couple of times that we've been missing something from upper deck, though. Two, two, I'm trying to think. Two, three, four times. Can't remember how many times it's been, but they've come through big time more than they haven't come through.
I don't remember which one it was that we were short hits on, but that's when they sent us the Chris Hemsworth autograph. My biggest problem, like I said, was that they said, okay, we got you your case, everything is good, you know, two to ten weeks. And then a few weeks go by, and so I sent a message asking, and then they're like, oh, our offices are closed. Which, like I said, I, I can understand it. I'm not going to, you know, if they're, their state shut down, their state shut down. But at the same token, when we had the problem, they already knew that. I think I've got about at least half of the end game packs are out the door. I've got so many people asking me to hold on to their cards right now. It's getting a little too easy to get them mixed up. Let's see, let's try those two and those two. ID card. Well, Robo, the thing is, is Mason's picks, which he had, he got the uh, Elizabeth Olsen. That definitely got mailed out. And Samuel, I think he got the printing plate, which actually threw me off when I was sorting them out because he was picked six. I thought that was a really strong printing plate, and I would have taken that over uh, the metal card, which was the, the Dude Thor, and the one shadow box. I think it was, was a Black Widow. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Now we'll do top two on each one. Wait, what did you pull, Chris? Oh, the white autograph, Haley Atwell. Congratulations. getting awful low here. Let's try. 
this. Let's try this. There's our printing plate. I'm pretty sure that that is Vixen as I'm going through these. What are the odds of me pulling this base card in these last eight packs? Sketch. Huh. I am shocked on this sketch. It's somebody that we got earlier, but the Catch quality is completely different. Uh, I ser I seriously think it's an unfinished sketch. That's a much nicer sketch. Right. I'm going super slow in these last couple of packs. I'm just trying to find this card. There's our ID card. Ah. Tell you what, for the for that one sketch we weren't sure on, that's definitely her. So you were right, whoever said that. I have to put these this way. see if we have it in the gold come on like I said I'm pretty sure it was Vixen I don't think we're going to have the regular version to compare it against. Hopefully, hopefully it'll come up on screen here. Yeah, let's see. It. Okay. Yellow printing plate. 
and it's got some codes on the back, but it doesn't. And said, I'm pretty sure that that was that's who that card is. I'm not going to keep you guys on here forever, so I'll see if I can find a base card to scan with it. All right. Uh, so it is Deborah Kolaris again. So just as a uh, where's it? At? Just as a comparison, so you can see what I'm talking about. This was the one we pulled before, and this is the one we pulled now. There's no color. So, I mean, the, the line work is nice, but the lack of color is a little confusing. Just a little bit of green on the background. And we end with, what is this guy's name? Yun Yuhire, which, very nice Batgirl sketch. There we go. Focus. Okay, so you saw these, you saw the plate. And this was an ID card. All right, so our star powers we got red and silver of Batwoman, and we got a red of Superman. Uh, I think they should all just stay as one spot. I don't. I mean, Chris, the way you were saying, I guess I don't have those in my breakdown, so they were just going to be an extra hit. So you've got the gold, the rainbow foil, and then the ID card set. So that's one, two, three. Printing plate is four, five, and then the 12 sketches. All right, so the Chloe saw that. You saw that. All right, so we had... Then real quick, at a distance, Bill Mouse. This is the other Deborah Chloris we just showed you. Uh, Matthew Sutton. Julia Pinto. We got two from her, both very nice. Adam and Becca Cleveland. And Angelo DiCapua. This is the other Julia Pinto. We had two Kleber Limas. And a Harley. I do a this. From Mitch Ballard. Okay. And then we have all of our figures. Oh, yeah. Most. Our bronze figure was a Joker, and best of all, Golden God is painted of Harley Quinn. So, 12, 24, 25, so that's 29 spots. So there should be a couple of extra, so 27, so yeah, two extra spots. Why are there two extra spots? What do I have different here? 12 sketches, 12 figures, foil, gold, rainbow uh, one for the plate, one for the star power. Okay. Well, you'll definitely get a sketch if that's what you're looking for. I mean, there's, there's no reason why that, probably the Joker bronze uh, minifigure and the Harley Quinn painted. I think the number one pick's actually going to be pretty tough. I mean, I see probably two sketches, three sketches that I really like, and that figure. Going to be a tough choice for number one. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. So real quick here. Join the Facebook group, iFish73 Non-Sport Group Breaks. Um, we're still kind of stuck on that Walking Dead break. And somebody had posted about maybe trying to do Twin Peaks. So we'll give that a shot.
subscribe to this YouTube page. I have a goal. I want a thousand subscribers. I'm way, way short of that. So once it starts to move up, I know it grows pretty quickly. If you want to see me break anything, shoot me a message on here, on Facebook, on Blowout. And that is about it, guys. Uh, Star Wars Stellar 2019. There's a two case break. It's got to be at least three quarters full. Star Trek Inflection, Star Trek Discovery. I'm not sure if there's enough interest in those, but they're up there too. Going to be submitting Outlander Season 4, Rise of Skywalker Season 2. And I think that is about it. So again, have a good night, everybody.